main event on one of the biggest cards of the year. And a rematch as well with someone that you know very, very well. What's going through your mind? Man, I'm just really excited to be here. Abu Dhabi, you guys are amazing. Jiu Jitsu! I know you guys are big into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, MMA. We're so excited to be here and bring this over here again. And uh, to be the co main event spot with Habib headlining this, it's, uh, it's massive, man. And uh, I just want to get this one back so bad. Four years ago, I lost a decision to Edson. I was young, I was green. It was only my third UFC fight. This is my 13th, so I think it's time to show these guys what I'm really made of. Well, what's it like for your motivation to have a fight like that in the back of your mind that you know that one day you've got to get that one back? Well, you know, it's been on my mind for four years and it's one of those things where we've trained together, we've known each other, there's no bad blood. This is about martial arts for me. This is why I live this lifestyle. This is why I do what I do. It's not because I like to hurt or be mean to other people. It's because I love competition and I love living the warrior way and that's how Edson is. And I promise you that's exactly what we're going to put on display on Saturday night for all of you guys that are going to be there. It's a war of martial arts and integrity on Saturday night. That's what this sport really needs to be all about. It's just like Habib and Dustin. These guys are classy. That's how it should be. Obviously, you need to make some adjustments from the last time. You've changed a lot as a fighter, working as an analyst as well has got to help that. Tell me what adjustments you've made. How do you fight differently this time? Well, one of the things, you know, I moved my camp primarily to Rufus Sport in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, Coach Duke Rufus, who's on his way here right now. Otherwise, we'd have been smashing pads for you guys right now, but I gotta beat up some of my teammates instead tonight. Um, he took the crazy, the crazy in me, Dan, and he made me focus it. He gave me game plans, he gave me strategy, and he knows I'm gonna hit hard, he knows I can be crazy, but how can we calm that down and get the task at hand done? And that's exactly what Duke and Rufus Sport and all those guys have done. Not to mention just becoming a more well-rounded martial artist. You see, I, I'm not just gonna come up here and throw kicks. Who knows where this fight's gonna go on Saturday night, but I can tell you I'm ready for it to go anywhere. So I, I have one more question, just, just daydream with me for a second. So the Paul Felder from four years ago that just lost to Edson Barbosa has walked back to his dressing room backstage and he walks into your dressing room right now and he's going he's gonna to tell you, he's going to give you a piece of advice for this weekend. What would that piece of advice be? It's going to be you're exactly where you need to be, son. It's okay. Take that loss and you're going to learn from it. And you'll be back stronger than ever. And all those dreams that you dreamed when you were a little kid at 12 years old when you walked into your first dojo, you got some big things to come. Good luck on Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, with you in two seconds.